News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, two people are injured following a rollover crash, and a local is arrested for allegedly stealing a weapon. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unette Gentry. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Traffic was at a standstill as emergency crews responded to two collisions. It's Thursday, May 31st. I'm Unette Gentry. A rollover accident results in a rear-end collision, injuring two. Traffic was diverted around an accident on Highway 160 between Irene Street and Mesquite Avenue. The trailer, which was attached to an SUV, apparently rolled on the highway blocking the southbound traffic lanes. No one reported any injury at the time of this crash. Nye County Sheriff's deputies, Nevada Highway Patrol, and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue all arrived on scene. However, there was an additional crash that happened shortly after this crash. Fire Chief Scott Lewis tells News 46 that it was a two-vehicle accident, a rear-end collision that was a result of the traffic that was backed up. Two people were transported to Desert View Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue transported one person from a crash recently in the Albertsons parking lot. One person was transported from a two-vehicle accident in front of Albertsons in the parking lot. The driver on scene told police that he was unable to stop his vehicle and cited brake failure as the reason for the head-on collision. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies arrived on scene. Both cars sustained major damage. No one else reported any injuries at the time of the crash. And in another accident, luckily no injuries have been reported following a two-car crash Wednesday afternoon on the south end of town. Luckily, no one claimed any injury at a two-vehicle crash that occurred on Gamebird and Pahrump Valley Boulevard. How the accident occurred is under the investigation of the Nye County Sheriff's Office. However, it was reported that one of the drivers said that a mesquite tree had blocked his vision, which led to the crash. Traffic was diverted around the accident while the investigation was being conducted. Both cars sustained moderate damage. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And in other local news, a Pahrump man has been taken into custody following a reported domestic dispute. Sancona Graham has been arrested for domestic battery, interruption of a 911 line, child abuse, and resisting arrest at a home on Superior Lane here in Pahrump. On May 9th, deputies were dispatched to Superior Lane in regards to a physical altercation between a male and female. The male was identified as Sakona Graham, who advised that the female and himself had had an argument which became physical on the porch of the house. Oh, he said that the female had fallen down and he fell on top of her while he was trying to get his phone back from her. He said that the female appeared to have lost consciousness and attempted to wake her. Police say that he also admitted to hitting her with a flip-flop type shoe in the thigh area. After speaking with the female and several witnesses, they say that the female did fall back off the porch. Witnesses say that Graham actually hit her in the face so hard that it made a loud noise. Deputies observed several areas on the female that seemed to be consistent with the witnesses' report. Sancona Graham was transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. And as we head to break, you can call now to win tickets during tonight's 5 p.m. newscast only from Ace Country Radio. We're giving away two pairs of tickets to see country music artist Tyler Farr this Friday night at 7 p.m. at the House of Blues in Las Vegas. We'll give away tickets to the first two callers who call 775-727-9400, extension 201. Again, that giveaway is in this 5 o'clock newscast only. Again, that number is 775-727-9400. 775-727-9400, extension 201. Good luck, and we'll be right back. 